Okay, this is my last video for the night, I promise. <laughs> um, this video is basically explaining why I started this video blog. Um, obviously one, because I have depression, um, I've survived suicide, I used to cut. Um, I'm in probably the same spot that you are right now, and I was there for three years. I was in that D spot, and then I stopped for a year. And here I am again. <laughs> no. Then I was again, <laughs> for about a year, um, when I was in the abusive relationship, um, I started cutting again, I, um, tried to commit again, um, it was bad. So, um, yeah, my thing is, oh, you see that? You see that? That's what happens when you play wrestle with your boyfriend in the kitchen, and he drops you on your face. <laughs> that happened last night, it hurt. <laughs> um, that's totally random, I'm so sorry. Um, so basically, okay, this is, um, when I was dating Hunter, the first time, um, we were all, we, you know, he had his little friend group and everything, and we'd, you know, hang out, um, every once in a while, and, like, weekends and stuff, you know, there'd be, like, little bonfires and parties, and we'd go to, um, and he had this one friend named, friend named Jimmy. Who was loved by everyone. Like, everyone loves Jimmy. <laughs> you don't find a person who doesn't like Jimmy. Except for my ex. Which is another whole story. Um, he was awesome. <laughs> he used to come over to my house. And, um, <laughs> Hunter and I would like, go downstairs and we'd be like, Jimmy, if we give you alcohol, you watch and like knock because my mom's coming down the hall. <laughs> so bad. And so we just leave him with some Jack and Coke or whatever up the stairs and he'd keep watch for us. Oh my goodness, it was so funny. At like 16 years old, we were just having this fun. And uh, he was, you know, on the football team and, you know, just got loved by everyone. Um, he graduated with my boyfriend. And uh, on. March 3rd of this year, 2013, um, he committed suicide. That's, you know, the story. Um, there was a gun involved. The only other person there at the time was his current girlfriend. So, um, you know, no one, I don't think, really knows the whole story. No one, I don't think, really wants to know it. Cause, um, that's what these are. These right here. Okay, that's, I've been wearing these, like, ever since. This has been on my wrist every single day. Um, and it's, you know, this, this is for anyone right now, anyone seriously right now that is thinking about committing suicide. My god, you are fucking loved. You are, you don't think you are. You're gonna say no, everyone hates me. You know what? Everyone might just all be having a bad day. All the women in your life could seriously just be PMSing right now. Okay, maybe you annoyed somebody or something. Or, you know, maybe you just being upset is actually annoying people. Because I found that out the hard way. That I'm like, I have no friends. And everyone's like, well, we would be friendly with you, but you're always all depressed all the time. You know, it, it just... And I know it's hard, I know, because I've been there, but... His, like, wake, whatever, service thing was, I mean, like, four or five hours long, there was a two-hour wait line outside the door going from this inside of the building and then had things looped around the whole place inside, like, the, you know how they have the two rooms for each, you can have two, like, wakes going on at the same time? His wake was in this, like, room here, like, the casket and everything, and there was a line going like this to get there. And there was a whole, the whole other room was just taped off for people to be swung around. And people were on the outside of that thing in the middle of, like, March. God, he was loved. There's still people writing on his Facebook page. There's, st there's still people writing on the Facebook dedication page to him. And rest in peace, Jimmy Holbert. God, he was so loved. Alright, and you have no idea. It seriously is just, like... I mean, everyone says it, you know, you don't realize how much you're loved until you're dead, you know? People don't really care about you until you're dead. Well, you know what? 
They care. Are you, if they care when you're dead, then they care at least a little bit when you're alive. You have to understand this, because honestly now, realizing things and realizing it, think about your siblings and your parents. If you are in a situation where you don't have any siblings, you don't have any parents, you're a foster kid, whatever, think about people you've made relationships with. Even if you're a nobody, someone's going to be hurt by it. I didn't know as much as other people did, but I cried so much that I could not cry at the funeral. I had nothing left in me to cry. Even people who don't know you that much could still be so affected by it. And I need to tell you right now, if you're thinking about it, please email me. Okay? I have a personal email specifically for anyone going through anything right now. I was in your spot. And today, I'm going to college. I'm getting my nursing degree. Am I beginning a psych degree? Am I beginning my associate in psych? And my bachelor's in nursing? And I'm going to get married to the love of my life? You have no idea. What, and don't judge me by this, I mean, I'm Christian. You have no idea what God has in store for you, okay? You have no idea what life is going to hand you. If you want to take it that way, that's fine. If you're not religious, that is fine. I won't judge people. But you, I will judge you, actually. If you don't listen to this, because I really wish that I had looked on YouTube and found other people's videos of help. My God, you're loved. Okay, if you honestly think you have no one that loves you, email me. Okay? I will love you. I'll be your accountability buddy. Alright, I'll keep tabs with you. I'll keep emails. If you have a bad day, email me. Okay, let me know what's going on. Maybe we can talk about it. Right? Maybe we can we can get through this together. Everything's gonna be okay. I pinky promise. If anyone wants to put your pinky out to the screen and close her, you know, I pinky promise. And like I've said before, and I'll say it a million times, it can only get better. No matter how bad it gets, it'll get better. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. It got bad, and then it got really bad, then it got worse, then it hit its worst, and then it got better. And it's only been getting better since. You just gotta stick through it. And remember that everything that you're going through right now is making you such a strong person for the rest of your life. Think about it. Right now, if you're 12 through 15, 16, 17, 18, however old you may be, that's only a fraction of your life. Think how much you have to live for, how much you could accomplish. My goodness, if you're someone who is into science, you could change medicine or change anything. You can discover something. Okay? Even if you decide you want to be a McDonald's person for the rest of your life and freaking flip french fries. You don't flip french fries, do you? Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what you do. I don't know what your dreams are. I won't judge. I won't judge your dreams of flipping french fries. It's cool by me. Don't care. Just know that everything and anything you do makes a difference. You make a difference in someone else's lives. That's why we're here. You're not here for yourself. We're here for everyone else. And I've come to realize that. And that's why I'm here for you guys. Okay, so if you're hurt and you're scared, if you're angry, if you're done with the manic and depression episodes, I know, I know the feeling when you finally hit a manic episode and you want to get accomplished on everything in the world and you get like 12 things half accomplished and you're so goal oriented and everything's going great and then all of a sudden one day you're just waitressing, just doing your thing and all of a sudden you just feel sad you go home and you cry yourself to sleep and you wake up and you don't want to move and you're like great the manic episode outlasted a whole two days and now I'm back in the depressive depression episode for a month 
come to me. Go, go to anyone. Go to your school's guidance counselor. I'm telling you, they help ten times better than, you know, just some person off the street. You know, don't talk to someone who doesn't have it. Don't do that. Please don't do that. Don't talk to someone who doesn't understand, who hasn't studied it, or, y you know, someone who doesn't know what they're doing. It's a terrible thing to say. Unfortunately, your best friend sometimes can't even help you. Because they'll say, oh, you know, you'll get over it. Because you won't. That doesn't help. So, that's my story. I want to help you guys. I want to help everyone. Alright? I want to give you all a virtual hug right now like, and just squeeze you tight and let you cry because it's going to be okay everything is going to be so awesome and your lives are going to be changed forever once you realize that there's so much to live for nothing's worth dying for don't give them the satisfaction if you're getting bullied or whatever your case may be don't give anyone the satisfaction Seriously, do you see what poor Amanda Todd now, like, everyone's like, oh, she deserved it, oh, she's so stupid, making jokes? Don't give anyone that satisfaction. You know what's an awesome satisfaction? Me. Yeah, I could tell you. The best thing is when you see people in public that used to make fun of you, and you go up them and say, hey, how is everything? Because you know that they just got, like, I don't even know, kicked out of school for dealing drugs, and you're like, hey, I'm living my life on a full scholarship, I love you guys, you're so cool, my life is so awesome, thanks for fucking me over, assholes, with the best smile on your face. That is ten times better than killing yourself, dude, I'm telling you, just wait it out, because that is so freaking satisfying, it's not even funny, it's like, better than chili dogs, yeah, I went there. Okay, so, um, if you guys have any requests for videos, anything like that, um, I'm gonna keep making videos until more people know about me, um, no one knows about me, or what I do, so, um, oh, ignore that first video on there, <laughs> that's from my exchange student from Spain, we're gonna ignore that, that was old, that was when I was dating Hunter the first time, we don't talk about that, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> okay, um, so good night. I love you all. And my cursor's gone. My cursor is not here. Nope. It's not gonna work. My cursor's gone. I don't know how to stop it. Alright, I'm gonna try. Let's see if this works. It didn't work. I really don't know what to do now. I don't understand what's going on right now. Oh my goodness. What is happening to my computer? Huh. Alright. If I lose you guys, bye. Love you. Oh, got it. Okay. <laughs> I had to hit, hit control, alt, delete. If that ever happens to you, hit control, alt, and delete in that order at the same time do not unpress any of them until task manager starts learn something new every day okay see ya